Hey YouTube, figure I'd make a quick update. Uh, did some trimming on the fenders of the S10 and she flexes out and doesn't hit, at least when she's not turning. Gonna slide the axle another inch or two forward to get all the clearance that I need. But uh, figure I'd show you the video, show you a video of that where I had to trim and uh, did some work on my big truck today. So uh, show you that, and also something sitting in the shop that I'm gonna surprise you guys with, or not really surprise, but just show you. But here we go. All right then. So as you can see, this is where I had to cut, and I'm gonna come in, and from this body line down is gonna be rhino line anyway. So I'm not really concerned with the paint. Clean that up some. Cut the inner body too. Get all that. But you see it follows the line pretty well don't look horrible and on the front or on the back did the same thing it used to have a radius like that that slopes off it clears a lot better it's got this brace right here that was right here i'm just going to bend this brace and bolt through that to stiffen that up but other than that it's about the only updates i have Still no shocks, still no front drive shaft. Did take it down the road the other day. Got the brakes all bled. But not looking bad. So what we got here will be the heart of the STM. Gonna go through it, replace all the bearings, seals, gaskets. But other than that, it runs. Pulled out of a running uh, skid steer or skidder, can't remember, skid steer or skidder. The guy that we got it from, he's got a bunch of logging equipment. Yeah. Should be pretty sweet. See the MV4500 in there. Kinda sucks, I just put that uh, MV3500 in there, but it is what it is. Anyways, that's the surprise, I guess you could say, sitting in the floor. Now, on the big truck, just got it back together. Just installed some head studs. You can see the ones that are on the outside of the valve cover. But did it uh, with factory head gasket, just uh, replacing uh, one bolt at a time. Everything's working, so I fire it up. But this, and then uh, also gonna put a six speed in here, but head studs and six speed and uh, dual disc clutch and uh, gonna turn it up a lot more so head studs are just insurance didn't need them now but rather put them in now and not need them you know don't want to stretch a head bolt but Sounds good. I went ahead and ran through the valves. It's uh, it's got 190,000 miles on it, so the valves were a little loose. Put them back where they're supposed to be. So it changed the tone a little bit. Should pick up a little bit of fuel mileage, I would imagine. But anyways, appreciate you watching. I'll try to keep you updated on S10 and my Cummins swap and this truck. It's my daily driver, but you know, turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this, put it right there in the floor. But thanks for watching.